Hey everybody, it's Lon Seidman. We're taking a look today at a number pad for your computer from Mac Alley. And it kind of looks like a calculator too, and that's because it's both. You can have it work as a calculator here, and then when you push the button, it will pair up with your computer over Bluetooth, and it'll work like an external number pad. And we're going to dive into what this thing is all about in just a second, but I do want to let you know in the interest of full disclosure, this came in free of charge through the Amazon Vine program. However, all the opinions you're about to hear are my own. No one is paying for this review, nor has anyone reviewed or approved what you're about to see before it was uploaded. So let's get into it now and see what this little number pad is all about. So let's take a closer look now at the hardware. The keys here do not feel spectacular. It's kind of like your run-of-the-mill calculator kind of feel to it, which is what this kind of is. But they're decent enough. They've got a decent spacing here, actually pretty good travel. Uh, so it's not hard to go bang out numbers pretty quickly on this. The keys are large enough to find them. And you've got a little bump here on the five key, so you can feel your way around that way. It's got a big equal key here, but a smaller plus key. I often like the adding machine style where you've got that big plus key also, but that's not a deal breaker to me. Nice big zero key here. You got the double zero as well. And it has a couple of neat little features with memory like you'd see on some other calculators. And it also has the ability to load in your state sales tax. So if I hit this plus tax button here, it automatically calculates the sales tax on the total that I have up on the screen. I can also just take it back out there by hitting minus. So that is the calculator side of it. Now, one thing to note is that the screen here is not backlit, nor are the keys. So you're gonna to need to have some light on this to see it. Uh, right now it looks a little bit dim just based on the angle here to my camera, but it looks pretty good on par with any calculator you've purchased since the 1980s. It really feels like that. Now this will pair up via Bluetooth to a computer and you have to switch modes to go into Bluetooth mode. So if I hit the key here, you can see now it says PC and now it is tied into my Mac here. Now, even though this is called Mac Alley, it doesn't mean it only works with Macs. It actually will work with just about anything that supports Bluetooth keyboards. So you can connect it up with a PC, a Windows computer. You can connect it up to a Linux computer. You can hook your phone up to it, an Android device. Pretty much anything, again, that works with a Bluetooth keyboard will work with this. And what I'm gonna do here is show you my Mac's screen here. We're also going to pull the calculator up. And as you can see, as I type on it, we've got numbers going into my spreadsheet. And then you've got some arrow keys here so you can kind of navigate around. Uh, so it's kind of nice that it's got all this stuff kind of integrated here. So it has some useful key functions. You also have uh, page up and page down. Uh, just note that all of the memory functions and that tax feature that we were looking at a minute ago don't work when it's in PC mode. But I do think it's more valuable to have the navigational keys here, which help you get around with your computer there. So that's a pretty nice feature. One issue though, and I'll turn off my overview here, uh, is that you have to remember to turn it off because it apparently will always stay paired to the computer even when you leave it idle for a length of time. It doesn't appear to go to sleep. So it's going to drain the batteries quicker. And they said that it stays paired even when you move it out of the PC mode and go back to the calculator. So if you don't remember to turn it off, you're likely going to have a dead battery more often than you would like. It runs on AAA batteries, two of them, and they come included with the device, but you might, again, burn through those if you don't remember to turn off the keypad. So not bad. It could be better, but it does get the job done, and it does do what it says it will do. But I think a backlight on the keys and the screen would have been nicer, and maybe some kind of sleep function to prevent the batteries from draining would have been something obvious to implement into this device. That's going to do it for now. Until next time, this is Lon Seibin. Thanks for watching. This channel is brought to you by the Lon.TV supporters, including Gold Level supporters Chris Allegretta, Tom Albrecht, Mark Bollinger, Sergio Morales, Mark Dell, Jim Callagher, and Steven Sue. If you want to help the channel, you can by contributing as little as a dollar a month. Head over to lon.tv slash support to learn more.
And don't forget to subscribe. Visit lon.tv s.